Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. 2v2, hell of a lot of fun, even when it's on, on Exile. I think we only technically saw, like, one crater there, but it was an assisted crater. Um, <laughs> we're going to see more throughout the day, I'm sure. And, yeah, we're going to be changing the uh, map pools from event to event. Um, and next month, of course, of course we're going to be reopening Organ Grinder, which is our multi-game format event thing. Um, so if you're a Quake World player, Quake 2 player, or you just want to play some Quake Champions duels, go ahead and sign up for that. Signups will be open tomorrow during and or after uh, the, the 2v2 tournament. So it's all going to be there. Any brackets for tomorrow? The The link is up. The brackets aren't finalized yet because signups are still technically open. But yeah, there's there's the bracket. Thanks, since I'm poor Veske in, in the chat. Lost his teammate today, so he's watching more than he's playing. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Same thing happened to Reki. So, you know, we'll pour one out for you guys. <laughs> well, drummers and Sip is uh, play. Uh, they are called the classics. What does that entail? That they don't use the active abilities and just play. <laughs> uh, not recommended in two v two. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, they're going to be on, on the right side. There we go. We'll switch over to them as soon as we figure out what bands are. Uh, Travis is grabbing a snack. That's a good idea. But I'm also aware that, um, yeah, we're, we're going to have our, our planned monthly events, which are going to be fairly well structured. Um, going to try to get some mapper's marks going in between. I know Christus has been chomping at the bit for that. Uh, and then you're probably going to see a lot more streams over the course of the year of, uh, of development for, for Midnight Guns, which is our, our tactical shooter that we're working on. And in fact, I can now announce that um, it's being worked on officially by Tasty Spleen Studios. So that's, that's a real thing. Um, so you're going to be seeing more of that. Uh, it will turn into a Kickstarter later down the road. Um, but we're gonna kind of keep, we're gonna we're gonna keep the the marketing of that kind of like friends and family. And if you're watching your friends and family, you know that's basically how it works. So, um, but as far as like the general public goes, we're gonna kind of keep a, a lid on it until we have more art to show, because it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of work on the art. But it's a fun game, and I, I think within the next month or two we'll be able to justify streaming um, some like uh, playtest sessions and things like that. So you're gonna see a lot of that. Is it the savior of the a a FPS genre? No, it's not an it's not an arena FPS. It, it's a tactical like the, shooter, but yeah. The, the next one who's gonna bring it out of the niche? <laughs> nah, I, I just want to get um, I just want to get some of the Crossfire kids. Want to get some of that money? <laughs> no joke. We're gonna launch with Brazilian, uh, Brazilian Portuguese, and and Russian language support, like before anything else, before English. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get that money. <laughs> Speaking of money, uh, go ahead and donate down below to the prize pool. There have been a lot of cool donations already. I know I've missed a few, but uh, really thankful for everything coming in. Our prize pool currently sitting at $521.90. 90 so thank you. <laughs> and thank you again to Rotten Rose, GMT, and Boo for helping out with, um, with all the admin stuff. Which will get pretty easy here pretty soon yeah thanks for having me I, uh, yeah yeah man my mom will be proud that I'm on American dot TV <laughs> American <laughs> TV <laughs> I made it <laughs> to the big times <laughs> and we'll, we'll see some icons as soon as I know what the bands are <laughs> I don't know what the bands are yet I don't want to lie to you like Kreinder does <laughs> Just refresh it five times and then. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, they've got a grinder up. Do I trust it though? Is that the, is that the thing? Uh, Genic death row, and token up. Do do do. Yeah. Let's see what I get. It's all pre-recorded. <laughs> exactly. Like, <laughs> like the QPL. And of course, every, Dramas puts in two Grinder links, of course. Old Gamers Toxic Cooler? No. <laughs> I 
I haven't seen them yet. Um, yeah, I need to take a look at the the EU brackets for tomorrow. There's a lot of cool teams in there. We got Maestro showing up, so it's going to be pretty stacked out of the gate. Um, yeah, and Maxstar actually yeah. are playing in Europe. And with, Sinaku, yeah. Uh, Ossie, <laughs> who lives in Poland. <laughs> like, <laughs> See, Poland is just that cool. But yeah, let me take sure. a quick look here at the bracket once again, just because Boov is yelling at me for reasons. I'm sure there's a good reason. There's always a good reason for Boov to yell at me. There we go. So yeah, we're still looking for the, the finale of uh, Turtle Recall and Davis Sage to occur, because I, yeah, I think um, Festive Turtle had a power outage, which delays that match a little bit. But yeah, we're ready to go for our Seed 2 and Seed 3 semifinal. As soon as I know what bands are. Um, yeah, I see that the clutch is removed, and um, Blaskovich. Okay. First map will be Awoken, second will be Runes of Sarnath. I'm going to trust that for now. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. Hey, and thanks for the 10 bucks, and uh, just because of that, now, now we get to see some stuff. <laughs> All right, clutch and BJ gun. All right, cool. Nice. We know what we're doing. Yeah, Clutch's icon was a little bit tough to do because he doesn't really have much of a silhouette. He's just kind of a brick. BJ I was, like, pretty happy with, but I can't escape how puffy his cheeks look. He's, like, holding marshmallows in his mouth. <laughs> oh, you want to see some feet? I don't have, I don't have feet icons. <laughs> Maybe next month we'll just do, like, instead of having heads, we'll just have feet and you got to guess the champion based on feet i think all yeah, the... these are from, <laughs> these are from the quake uh like the bethesda site right yeah the, the, those headshots yeah those are nice i mean all the images i don't... have have feet so they... we could do it we could do a feet stream is that okay with twitch is that allowed um, i don't know what's allowed anymore we lost we lost wheat so i feel like the guy we had in our corner is is gone. We lost all of our protection. <laughs> so you lost the one you could scream at and still could do nothing. I've never before. had to, but I always felt like I could if if the need arose. And now now I feel less protected. DJ feet. <laughs> not well, at least if it, you can do a feet stream if you yeah. if you have a bathtub. <laughs> Cool. Like the with a bathtub, then it it is functional. <laughs> All right. Then it's allowed. And you've uh, you've made me backtrack on my statement that I'm not going to do any more asset work for Tasty Cups after this point. Now I need to make a bunch of feed icons. <laughs> All right, I think we're ready here. No clutch, Arr. no BJ. Difficult rules, makes for a awkward first date. But we're gonna get into this. Dramas and Sib together for, well, today at least. And Dramas needs to reboot. It's this kind of a semi-pagan ritual at this point. Doesn't feel right. The bits are all wrong. I need to reboot. Yeah. I, Zanaku's asking if, if people would prefer seeing his feet over his face. Well, Zanaku, you've got a nice face for one thing. I've never seen your feet should probably be pretty thankful for. <clears throat> the number of, pe of people's feet I've seen, even considering QuakeCon, is actually still pretty small. So I think we're all in good state there. The dirtier the feet, the more Yeah, I'm, I'm imagining seeing <laughs> Hobbit feet. Like... <laughs> <sighs> Damn it. Now, now the next LAN I do, I'm not going to do, like, headshots. We're just going to do feet shots. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, like... <laughs> Like we have the the esport pose, right? With yeah. your uh, uh, elbows crossed over, like something with the feet. Yeah. <laughs> the pita cup, not the pedo cup. The pita <laughs> cup. It's a different cup. All right. As soon as Dramas gets in here, he'll save us from this, and we can watch some some games. <laughs> but thank you for being here, Zanaku. We appreciate you. <laughs> 
Oh, so it's so, taking okay. time out of out of prepping to make sure to tweet. So thank you for that. But all things being equal, I prefer games. Hey, there he is. Ready. And tweeting is just sending the message round and round to the same people <laughs> who are watching now. So <laughs> basically, yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> Yeah, Caster Shady. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Sometimes people are more polite than I even expect them to be, and they always wait for us to, to give the go-ahead. All right, here we go. Going to finally get some Awoken on the stream? Jeez, we're like in upper bracket semifinals and finally some Awoken. Man. Uh, yeah, I didn't have my uh, second cup of coffee yet. Nah, me neither. Big mistake. Yeah, well, you had the power to uh, pick five, <laughs> but you didn't. Yeah, so I, I blame you. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't pass up segueing from one match into another, even if sure. Dramas needs to reboot. Not holding it against him. All right, Awoken O'Clock. No Clutch, no BJ. We'll make sure those are like the actual bands. <laughs> But uh, who needs either of those champs on this map? It, it's not a great fit either way. We're going to see some Aizen. No, no Aizen. We're going to see some Galena. Is he going to stick with that BJ? Round begins what are we doing? Three, okay, there we go. Oh, okay, two, cool. So Doomguy, uh, Ranger, fight. and Double Strog. So if you want some peekers, this is the time to get it. We're going to be watching Chain immediately have to shoot some Pokemon out of the air. Team guy's gonna be out here looking for rocket launcher. Not a whole lot of health. Immediately getting some fights out of the TP. Do not go around that corner. Do not collect two hundred dollars. You're gonna get a face full of pain. Or pay with it. It's your life. Our teams are tied. All right. All right. Oh, Sip doing some work. <laughs> sending. Sending. No, he's not sending him out of the map. Oh, that took so much work, but there's the heavy pickup from Sib. Chain going down as well. Liking the aggression here, but yeah. The the LG room is really a fortress in 2v2. This is like the most A-side versus B-side map in 2v2, really. LG room versus power-up room. One of them's got the power-up spoilers. Yeah, and I would think that a mode like this also favors Sib. He's just a damage output monster. Incoming quad. All right, so 10 seconds to quad. Yem's looking fairly well stacked up. We've got a lot of armor across the rosters, actually. It's going to come down to be able to attack up this jump pad. Peeker's going to be a good start. Where's the finisher? Oh, the rail nearly pushes him out of the map, but he's able to take down Sib. That quad is now standing. All alone, Dramas cannot even get it. It's going to be Chain getting the frag, getting the pickup. And maybe even nice. getting a few frags with the quad. Who knows? <laughs> like everyone was early, but also <laughs> everyone died. <laughs> mm. Rockets bursting in air. All right. Hallelujah, Chain. It's going to be some really good shots coming out of him. Bringing this back up to an 8v8 game, it looks like. There it is. And even ending the run with a bit of armor left over. Just about the only armor on the map. He's going to be taking a little bit of a break from his victory lap. Get him putting in some work. Heavy's going to be up, trying to hold it for Yenem. There's the pickup. And the attack through the TP. I really like that rocket bounce. Didn't quite turn into the rail that he needed. Ah, yourself. like this angle play, but Cheney's a hit. Cheney's a hit. There's the one. It's not enough to save his teammate. There we go. Sib goes down, but Dramas ends up being the last one to laugh there. 10 to 10. Mega taken by Dramas. Loving this butt grindage coming out of Strog. Oh, it's going to be rough coming up the jump pad, though. There goes that Mega. There goes that heavy, and Chain takes the frags back. Wanting to turn one mistake into several frags. 11 to 11. Incredibly well matched up here so far. Oh, it's getting to free on though. Sip, sealing the deal on the track. 
And I can like both uh, teams walking uh, together. But uh, yeah, Sip Orpany to his death. A Hail Mary. And with two strongs here, this is really more of a game of 3v3. Chain with 36 health is wanting to hang out by the protection. Body block just a little bit, but Yenem, he needs to come. He's able to take down Sib, but he needed to be told like, hey, you got one coming from PU. 38 health for Yenem. These 25s are going to be really, really helpful at this point. There's the Mega. Wants to attack LG from this side. Where's where's his teammate to not let them through to Mega? Yo! <laughs> that that plan was never going to work. Okay, he's able to take down Sid. Nice shots, but that was a lot more effort than it needed to be. Letting him out of Mega like that. I'm not sure where Chain was at that moment. Oh. Gets trapped by Thomas's LG in the end. Mega helps up. Goes to Doom while uh, Chain gets a nice track on the board. Freshly. Has a lot of stack. <laughs> oh, the LG strips all the armor he had. Alright, and yeah, that's gonna leave Yenam fairly weak here. Fortunately, he could just play the angle game. It's going to be attack from the LG side, so yeah, Chain needed to not be caught in that fight. Not with the end so far out of position for any kind of response. So that means that the heavy is going to be left up. Diving a peek around, getting the mid-air peeker hit. It's not really going to net them any frags, but he's burning off that armor at least. Getting a lot of net damage in, but the frag still goes to the classics. But the damage Classic. has got to have some dividend here. Here it comes. Five seconds to the Mega. Chain doubling back for it. A little bit of spam, cute spam. Nice LG work. Oh, but the rail comes from oh, Sid instead. Actually, uh, seems to me that it will be the first squad that could go uh, into the classic sands. But it's no. been really random so far. We got the tippy tappies coming out of Doom Guy. It's going to be Chain on the quad, taking down Sib, but getting taken down in turn. Fortunately, Yenem's able to get the relay, but he's just eating rail after rail. Can't get any hits here. Those are 80 damage nails, but he's not finding any targets. There's the one. There it is. Sip goes down. 27 to 21. He's starting to get a little bit of good out of this quad. And there's the quad peeker. Nice. Great timing on this fight. The heavy to boot. Let's go. He's uh, sliding like he likes the same movement. Oh, yeah. That's why you gotta do it. You don't play Strog for his charming personality. <laughs> right, nice Dire Orb. Well, the double back of the Dire Orb. What to work at what? <laughs> but a 7 frag lead could whittle away here in very short order. Dramas throwing a zone peeker. Not a whole lot of effect. Sib's gonna be railing from up top. Pushing, yeah, pushing targets through the TP. Really well played. Letting Dramas back out through the LG. Catching them on the respawn. Really great movement, and you know, the, the Doom guy punches. You can't, you can't account for that. There's no way you can like play the math game in your head well enough to accommodate for the Doom punches. But it was a, a good plan anyway. All right, so 20 seconds to protection. Trying to go for the cool air rocket, just gets dumped outside of the map instead. <laughs> I don't know why I heard strong from that position. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, all attention on the enemy there. But chain someone picking up the protect. Only 51 HP though. Heavy's up. Still up. Okay, there it is. Ah, oh, nearly took him down. Oh, listen no! to happy method. No! Oh no! <laughs> wow. I was a great soundtrack. <laughs> Not like this. Alright, still, only three frags between them. Shane, this is going full ham. Really wants to steal away that uh, position on the heavy, even though it's not up yet. 
but he was acting like it was all or nothing. But there it is. There's the pickup. I like that tribal sound. Very meaty. Great, great dire orb there. Great. Beautiful. Good job, Sid. Dramas goes down, not knowing why this fight is happening the way it is. Great LG coming out of chain. Jeez. Yeah, he's cleaning house and the, the heaviest hiss. Same as the life or no. He shipped there to the rescue. Alright, a five frag lead uh, for now. The, that, <laughs> oh you <laughs> shut down. Mm. Nice. Very, oh double one hundred rocket! Okay. Okay. What? Some unreal damage coming out of Yenim here. Kind of disappointed those rockets didn't connect, but they're definitely in the danger zone now. Seven frags to close out the map. Midair rocket. Pillar keeping dramas alive for just a moment. Jeez. That is the beauty of rockets, and like he's just uh, pushing everyone away from the quad position. This is gonna be a clean and pick up. And for once on Awoken, I might even believe you. There's the attempt on the dire orb, but the quad does indeed go to chain. <laughs> As Yenim knocks him out of the map. But yeah, three frags, one quad. He's got a bit of health to do it with. Unless he completely gets roasted by the LG here, it should be okay. Come on, get the rail. Come on. Get the, rail. Get the oh my god, Dramas, what are you doing? You monster! Can he bring it back? I don't think so. I, I got my doubts here. Yeah, he only has rockets. Oh, and a shotty right oh, now. Okay. Nice. Quake 4 shotgun and butt grinding. Like, what game are we playing again? Alright. Seven frags they gotta make up. Sib needs to not be Sib for just a little bit. He needs to live. I appreciate that Sib doesn't value not dying very much, but this is TDM and it is the last three frags. Alright, Drama's gonna just GG out there. Sib goes down. And there's the respawn at light under the power up. Be careful going into LG. Be very careful. Yeah. Surprised nobody heard you there. Ooh, Sid being very, very sneaky. Or so he thinks getting caught. You do know he's there, right? Like, he's right there? <laughs> like, you do know he's... Oh, that's your teammate. Okay, sorry. Jahar's tired. <laughs> Not a lot of sleep this week. I was freaking out. I was like, Jesus, he's right there. Get him. <laughs> Well, it is a stock, but uh, not <laughs> the enemy. Yeah. Okay, Sid, so nice shot there. Yenim goes down. Yeah, he has uh, certainly s some uh, momentum in his favor, and he's going to get yeah. Mega Elf. Mega gets held for him. Ten seconds to heavy, and he's in position for it. But he's got both players to deal with. Yenim had no health going into that. I like that Dire Orb fake out. Yenim goes down, Chain goes down, but Dramas oh. is going to end up eating a frag there. Sid, it's their last hope. Protection is up. Oh. There it is. And now Dramas just needs to leave. Just needs to go hide under a rock. No, not like this, Dramas. Dramas, no! Oh, God. Two frags to make up. Oh. Sib doesn't have Dire Orb at the moment. Can't quite make the rocket jump. Inspired by Cooler. <laughs> Sponsored, even. Oh, one frag to make up. Don't <laughs> die, Dramas. Don't die, Sib. Seven. Oh, don't! Oh, I said, nice. don't die! Don't! <laughs> okay, now we're in death territory. Oh God. Okay, who's gonna take this one? Like, if Sip is gonna ah, bring this home. Ah. Oh my God! Forty-nine to forty-nine. They could bring it back. There's the rail. Where's the LG? Dramas has got to be the one to finish it off, right? He's at forty-five health. He's yes. available. But look how weak six one three is. They could do this. Looking for that last little bit of angle. The peeker getting deployed. Come on, hit the rail. Oh, there it yes. is. Dramas <laughs> puts it together. And the classics make an epic comeback to take a Woken. Holy shit. <laughs> nice. Ship on fire. Really, really like well done. The, yeah. The last two minutes were his. <laughs> Absolutely. Fantastic game. Whew. <laughs> All right, cool. Maybe I should go into coaching. Sib, don't yeah, be Sib for yeah, like two minutes. <laughs> like, don't die. Okay, okay, you are. 
<laughs> Got it sometimes. It's all good. <laughs> all right. Got to find out what map two is, but a really good start for the classics. Yeah. We'll move in the uh, runes of Sharnath. And yes, indeed, we're going to be seeing our second semifinal. It's going to be uh, Turtle Recall. I love that we keep getting to see that name. Versus Talladega Knights. This is our Team Liquid outing of uh, Rafa and Waz. And it looks like we're going into ruins. Thank you, Squeeze, for feeling some kind of way, because I wasn't really happy with the way Clutch turned out. <laughs> it's just this rectangle of red. <laughs> Sib needs two minutes. Oh, he needs two minutes to like calm down from, from that performance. But it's not time to wind down yet. Still got to keep the pedal on the gas. All right. And away we go. So yeah, ruins, no clutch. Okay, no big deal there. I guess, yeah, denying Sib that clutch is important. No BJ, though. Yeah, yeah. It looks like clutch is a demon baby that he had one on a one-night stand with and can't remember shit about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll go with that. I, I think we're missing someone. Uh-oh. Ah, there he appears. Okay, good. Yeah, my this machine always loads maps slow. <laughs> That's why I don't cover a lot of Quake Champions. <laughs> of course I gotta read that out loud. It's beautiful. It's poetry. Here we go. <laughs> Round begins in All right, so fantastic. Three, Turn two, around, come back. One. And steal from the classics. Let's see if they can do it again. Gonna be starting off with the Enum here. Great classic slash skin. Yeah, we're we're going for the double sh movement here, slash anarchy. Anarchy Sorlag. Oh I love this meta. I love this. Alright, this is fantastic. Yenum just absolutely just teabagging the hell out of that rail. Not wanting to let anybody else get in on it. But here comes the MG. It's gonna be a problem. 17 HP. Yenum's gotta go. And well played there. Stole that last rail even, I think. Oh, he's maybe getting a frag while he's low himself. And another clean uh, rail angle. Oh, <laughs> what a return though. Well, that Slash pain sound always sounded it. a little bit like it wasn't that painful to me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm still so low, but Dramas is not paying attention. Dramas takes down Chain, but oh, right through there. Got two through the keyhole. And that's going to keep the frags pretty close here. Three to three. Of course, it well, all... Yeah, I think, I think Slash is enjoying the pain anyway. A, a little bit. Just a little. Yeah, it's all going to change here in about 20 seconds. Nobody can aim rockets on these stairs, I'm pretty sure. At least not in this country. Those rockets just never land where you want on those stairs. Everybody's dead. That's so stupid. It's gonna be Chain on the quad with no health, of course. That's how it works. Sib, 15 HP, wants to give it up to Dramas. So we've got a quadded up sore lag, which is what I love to see. Yenum goes down very quickly. Nice MG work from Dramas. See, reboots do work. Oh, he shows himself. Why? Why? If you hang out there, just hug the wall or something. <laughs> nice. What we're not seeing from 613 right now is a lot of effective hiding. Been some really good. And it starts a big map, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my god, dude. But, but, yeah. Or at least we're getting to see some fracks, but the uh, five fracks while being purple. That's a nice squad run. It was indeed not quite enough to give them the lead just yet, but uh, I'm sorry, that was like the, the wrong lizard. Dramas. <laughs> Even getting the tick damage off on that frag, nice. Alright, so where at this point is Sim? Sim's gotta be attacking from behind, right? Sim attacks now? No, Sim, Sim's going down the tube, okay. I thought he'd be attacking Oh, and Dramas, like, 
he gets so many frags while being low. Dishing out the damage using <laughs> the map as cover. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. <laughs> What? Finally, what? <laughs> I think was that another tribal shot? We need to go back and play no. that slow mo. <laughs> it was a total nil against his teammate. <laughs> like, I what think. happened? I don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, seven to eighteen. We're okay. <laughs> We're more than fine. Enjoying the games. I like the stack from Dramas. Good rails coming out of Dramas. Holy shit. Finally eats that rocket from Chain. It's putting together some good damage, but not a lot of stack coming from him. Five seconds to the protection. And he might not survive to see it. It's another messy fight. Just gonna leave Yenem on the protection. In fact, he's like, even got 100 health. So he can go scoop up some lights here. Oh, or even the heavy. Nope, it's gonna go the sword lag, but someone cannot make it out of there. Oh, he's jumping wow, up. Holy this. shit. Right. Drama's putting in some work. Nice, Mega Half is up. Nice. Ooh, but the speeding anarchy now does not steal it. Sip pays for it with his life. Yeah, I'm gonna switch back over to the dramas here on that sore lag. Taking away that heavy armor, really stacked up thick girl. And yeah, Dramas' rails have just been absolutely insane. Yeah, the Quake 4 railgun, even as a Quake 2 fanboy, I gotta say it's a great model in this game. Oh. Looking for the awkward angle. Five seconds to Mega. And they're both relatively weak. But Chain, you can't attack from down there. What, what did you expect to get out of that? It's going to be basically a free Mega for Sib, immediately burned off by some rail. Yenem gets punished for it, though. Oh, too late to save Dramas. But Chain still goes down. One of the things yeah. I've always wanted to do with, like, the data tracking when it works in Quake Champions is just, like, have kind of a, mo a momentum meter for TDM for who's, you know, making the, the chains of frags. But uh, right now, they're just trading one for one, which is great news for the classics. Yeah, we just passed the uh, five minutes mark. But, uh, yeah, they are getting closer. It was 10 frags uh, difference. No, it's a little bit less. Quads, oh. yeah. few seconds away, and oh, Chain's just gonna a, just uh, send it, but no, it's not gonna work for him at all. He couldn't decide on a target, and now it's gonna be Dramas, 84 health, taking away that quad. Oh, got a really nice nail work there. All right, that leaves the quad by itself next to the heavy. Who's gonna get Christmas early? Yenem, just barely, 30 health. Nice. <laughs> Good rockets. Um, Good placement. Everyone explodes into pink mist. <laughs> Alright, but you're right there, Rob. They are bringing it back. Creeping this thing back into a close game and really relying on this quad. And again, like, these quads have been more momentous than in some of the other matches we've seen on Ruins today. Like, quad on Ruins is usually a good time to practice, you know, hanging out by TPs or hanging out, you know, by the 25 going down to heavy or at the jump pad or, or something. But no, they've just been pushing forward into this, keeping it a very close game. Oh, oh, that peaker damage. <laughs> Yenem heard that rail. He doesn't care. <laughs> it's going to go back around the long way. Oh, too many targets. And where, where, where did Dramas go? Oh, I'm here. <laughs> too late. 2732, all right. Really precise rocket angle for Dramas. And getting 90 damage out of it as well. Opening himself up to yeah. a couple rails. Only needed to use five rockets for 90 damage. <laughs> you know what? Nice. That's, that, that's they quite, are in quite world good, right you know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's just flying around, getting greeted by both enemy players who are there waiting for the heavy. And like, uh, they have a... Uh, they had high stack to fight for this uh, next power up. Oh, get shut down. 
now safe to turn off your sib. And yeah, this protection has brought it within one frag. Check on chain real quick. It's got mega, which is nice. But Yenem's got more targets at the moment. Scratch that. He just wants the heavy. <laughs> he just wants to fight. <laughs> it's like I'm all stacked up and I got nowhere to go. There it is. Find a drama. Nothing. Eating a little bit of that acid, but it's okay. One frag between them. And Mega goes to Yenem with no contest. Which means, yeah, here the TPX uh, exit. Gonna be a dangerous place to be. Some free storm for Yenem. And yeah, Dramas has got nowhere to go. Dramas is gonna die, right? Right? Chain's gonna find him? If yeah, Dramas wins this fight. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I had to go check. Oh. Nicely done, Yenem. Yeah, really relying on the destroyant at the moment. But there's Mega 10 yeah. seconds to heavy. It's gonna I be have attacked. A feeling from... the, the first time there was some cheating going on. <laughs> uh, that attack needed to be timed. Yenem and Chain just got both pushed out of the heavy room, one after the other. It did not need to go that way, Sib. Well, happy to see some, <laughs> some bad rocket jumps. But this was the first time that they were attacking and just waiting for them to enter the area. Like, nice trap. And it's making a close game again. Like, I, the next squad is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be uh, important. It's gonna be final even, yeah, we're, we're getting close to the danger zone. Sib's looking for some better rail angles. They started this one as strongly as 613 started the last map, but... Things are, are turning south on them pretty quickly. Yeah, right now for this quad, they've got position. Well, they had position until Sid died, but I don't know what else they got. Yeah, Yenem's able to clean up both of them, handing the quad off the chain. Oh, but he gets frack. Leaving it up for Yenem, right? Yeah, okay, a little bit of a distance for Yenem to go to get that pickup, but there it is. One oh, HP left after that rocket. Like, yeah, he has to be passive. Quad peeker, yeah. Is it safe? Nope. Well, they're destroying It's tasty. It's <laughs> tempting. So that quad largely shut down by the rail that left the enemy at 1 HP. Too weak to really be able to afford pushing out towards rail. But that still keeps them five frags in the lead, and those are an important five frags at this stage. Again, just looking for that rail angle. Nice shot from Chain to finish off Sid. Yeah, sip it. No escape routes. Oh, what now? <laughs> yeah, the, just gets throwing everything in his mouth. Nice. Oh, the, the old uh, sliding fist. Right, that's gonna leave Sid weak here. Pushing out on this mega is not really gonna be in the cards for him. Yeah, he's got to give it up. But uh, Dramas, okay, he was able to get the pickup. Oh no, that's just that's the sore lag being sore lag. Chain's got the mega. Oh, nice rockets come out of chain. And yeah, okay, so once again, it is time for the classics to slow this thing down. Not like that. All right, Sib's all in on this fight and nearly put it together. Dramas is able to survive here, but man, it gets caught on the staircase. Okay, so this spawn, it's protection coming up. They can afford to hide. They don't need to go all ham on this power up. Because it's only two frags to a tied map score. And Dramas is there on his own. What? Shit? What? Is he going to turn it around again? Okay, Sid. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. His uh, body just needs to survive. Yeah. Okay. Nice little savior shot there. He's going the other way. Okay. All right. <laughs> Oh no, that rocket jump was supposed to be way cooler. Oh, and Chain? Oh no. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, if we could wind that back. Pull it up, Jamie. But, uh, yeah, that, that was not the correct way to go to protect him. <laughs> Thanks for the $25 there, Joey Redman. <laughs> so that ties us back up one to one on the maps. We're going to be seeing 613 and the classics go to a final map in the semifinal. Bloodborne? 
I don't think that's in the pool. Or wait, it should be pool. What's my pool again? Yeah. Ruins, yeah, Exile, Blood Run, Veil, Awoken. Yeah. But Blood Run in 2v2, I'll. Uh, I'll <laughs> Blood Run without Clutch. What's the point? Uh, if you Q duo in EU, you play this match, this map, so much. But yeah, a tiebreaker going all three maps. Yes, indeed. And yeah, uh, ironically, the, the map where it's technically easier to avoid fights, like nobody was interested in that. <laughs> nobody wanted to not be in a fight at those points. <laughs> Sibs asking for another one or two minutes. What is this? Like, during the European Cup, I expect every map to be interrupted by a smoke break, but not here. I guess we're going to load the map and then go back to lobby? Or, you know, need one or two minutes. What what takes exactly one or two minutes? Um, the PP break. Uh, but I, I, I think it was uh, from the, the last match. The last map. Mm, yeah. All right, good call. Blood run. So, yeah, like this could be a very technical map, but I don't think these are um, <laughs> very prospect players. So <laughs> That's the best analysis I've heard all day. Yeah. <laughs> You're absolutely right. So I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this map is, is classic for you know, when you show up to the power-up room, because while you can get on the uh, on the platform and, and with the stairs added to this map, um, yeah, yeah, you can get on the platform pretty easily. Okay. Staying on the platform, not so easy. Uh, should see some Galena. Round begins we'll see if... Three, if two, uh, if Sib's ready to play here. Fight. All right, Sib's moving. I guess we're good to go. Here we go. Nice. Ooh, we actually have the Q. An Eisen yeah. versus... <laughs> All right. Galena and Ranger. <laughs> it's raining men. And thanks to, uh, thanks to that Wally, to that turret, we've got a frag already. Sib, gonna go down. Looking for uh, some gauntlet action, not gonna get it. But yeah, I love, I love seeing some kill here. This is good. Teams are tied. Lead taken. Dramas! With all these rails. Alright, I gotta go find Dramas. Jeez. Oh, he's dead. Got that nice green Terminator heal. Oh, good LG. Chasing some pineapples. Black is uh, Yenem already setting up shop. Ah, <laughs> oh, he gets greeted by so much tribals. Loses out on the mega health, so not that much sec left. He needs to find some. Uh, Poverty items for the quad pairs. Incoming quad. And that leaves. Like he's really set up tent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is a little extreme, but he's he's in good bait here as long as Chain can maintain. But Chain walks around the corner. That's the opposite of maintaining. Yet I'm still alive. Manages to take the quad. It's a bad dire orb. Double frag there, and I feel like I've seen this before. Like, oh, and he gets the Mega Health, another frag, like, I was really curious, like, okay, and... <laughs> yeah, there are some opportunities to shut down the Quad Runner on Blood Run, if you're alive to do it, but, uh... Okay, <laughs> Sib really waited for the perfect shot there. Waited a long time, but made good on it, got that Quad back, took the frags back, and now we've got that heal stuck up in the corner. Chain is gonna be eating some damage. Dishing it back out. <laughs> Just waiting for Yenem to come around the corner and figure it out. Whoops. Uh, Gotta communicate. Oh, nice shot out of chain. So you, you just need to be 90 seconds before the power-up in position and then you get it. That is what we just learned at the first <laughs> power-up. Take notes, kids.
so much work for one mega. All right, get him. Ostensibly ready to go, but needs to yeah, grab that 50, a little bit of armor. Dramas goes down. Chain's still looking at a decent stack. Of course, it's Keel. Still 30 seconds before this power-up, and, and even in Quake World terms, like, this is, this is early. This is really early. You do get to a point with, with the, the armor timing in Quake Champions where there's not a whole lot to grab. But yeah, Chain is, is going to be burning some stacks if he wants to be here this early. Nice little pop, but where's the response? Dramas is going to be weak, finally goes down. Sib's still a danger, or in danger. But look, like Sim's actually trying to like push in and get the steal here. 6 HP, can't get it of course. Yenem ends up killing himself for his trouble. <laughs> Everyone dies, but Yenem spawns near it. Gets greeted by the protection. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's not going through the portal. <laughs> <laughs> Total chaos. And, but Yim's surviving it thanks to the protection, just for the moment at least. We're four minutes in and we've got 20 frags under the belt of 613. Hey, scale. That's... Oh, we got a switch, yeah. Nice. Sip playing the Sip big sandal, man. He just wants to be big. I, I do want to see if we get good like bull rushes out of him though. Good MG. Turning back around, ready for this next fight. <laughs> good responses, actually. These are all really good angles for him. Like nobody's actually like focus firing on Sid right now. As big as he is. Cool. cool. <laughs> Dramas! Double frag with the LG. Yeah, and I need it. But, oh, he gets greeted by the pizza slicer right out of the corner. So just a, a slight lead for 613. Gonna keep my eye on them. 30 seconds to quad. It's time to start paying attention to those stacks. Yenem's not looking all that hot. Chain doing a lot better. Five seconds to the Mega. Oh, but this is like not a good time to be caught at the Mega. Because now Dramas, even after that pickup. Wait, the, the Mega's still there? What? All right, Yenem, is that a freebie? No, it's not. It's stolen away. Dramas <laughs> fooled you. Which means now Chain is going to be here first. I like the little shock effect they have to the, to the pineapple. Yeah, that's that's oh, that to work with. What? Oh, and the turret gets the last shots off? What is going on? Okay, finally the quad is picked up, but that turret was doing work. Dramas on the quad. Seven frags to make up. You can see some quad pineapples. Oh my god. <laughs> like he turned around the corner and then only 20 to help that. He's still in the hunt though. He catches Chain and sees the Mega Elf. And yeah, he's not exactly going on a on a rampage here, but he's cleaning up anytime he sees anybody. Yeah, and he do, didn't lose it while uh, being weak, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he... <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I don't ask I don't ask for clips very often, but I need that one. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Like so his flip flop uh, was in the way. <laughs> he just wants to be big. <laughs> the four frags to make up still. Drums is gonna be looking for this heavy. Yeah, alright, cool. That was planned. Really well choreographed there. Gets the frag, gets the heavy. Little pit stop to take out that turret. Nice damage on that fadeaway rocket, though. Come bearing gifts. Thank you, Fragadiddle. <laughs> oh, drivers go for the portal. Rich, a greeting party. Wow. Behind okay, it. Okay, guys. All right. Calm down. Oof. Nice rail. Oh, that was tribal just shut down. Oh, he got the stomp! <laughs> okay, this decision is now vindicated. Completely valid to go for scale bearer here. He's not just trying to be uh, 
Yeah. He's not just trying to play this like he would duel. Alright, Dramas. Nobody's paying attention to Dramas. They just want Sib down. Oh, nice pineapple. Then we got double kill. Alright. Very high in citric acid on the map at the moment. Jeez. Oh, hell. In your face. Just as it runs out. 35 to 33, though. I mean, between the scale bear and the Aizen and two keels, this is just evolving into chaos. So, yes, the score is going to be pretty close. Frags are going to be happening all over the place. Nobody's walking away from any fight without taking significant damage. Which must be annoying to, to, uh, to Dramas, at the very least. Oh, ho, ho, okay, Sib. All right. All right. Let's see what you can do off the spawn. Well, he's out to buddy. Well, not after taking that drill though, but uh, he does return the favor. Alright, nice rails coming out of chain. Five HP to survive that by one more tick and that would have done it. Thirty seconds to probably the last quad. So, yeah, it's time to worry about stacks. So, Sib is in a fight right now. It's not great for him. Dramas is able to survive with his little pew pew. Yeah, and the scoreline is just getting yeah. closer and closer again. Uh, so, we've got like, no walking away Heavy and Mega thing. cutting up right after the quad. So, this could be a really good run if somebody can get away with it cleanly, but Dramas is a little indecisive about which way to go. That cost him at least time, but not position on this heavy. Chain goes down, that'll put them in the lead. Mega stolen away, but because that Mega was coming up when it did, he knew where to find a player. Even if it takes a little bit of extra work to do it. Nicely done! The fadeaway tribolt. The quad helps, of course. But now there are two frags in the lead. A quad run well spent, and it gave them a heavy armor at the very least. Two frags up in this tiebreaker to go to the upper bracket final. Oh, Sib is on the death doorstep, but all attention on Dramas right now, catching two birds in the bush. Wow. And a third one. Alright, that had to end at some time, but that really did help. Now it's up to Sib to maintain this lead. Oh, Dramas just comes out of the spawn with a railgun swinging. <laughs> as well as getting the hits in with the, uh, oh my god, chain with the double shark gun. All right. He changed two cracks. Ha ha ha. <laughs> hey. All right, Sib with the mega. It's going to be good for that skill bear. Bit of armor to pick up as well. No major items coming up for a little while, which is good news because they've got all the stack. Like, 613 is looking pretty pretty mushy at the moment. Only two frags needed for the Classics to move forward into the UB final. Sib wants to play Quake, he doesn't want to play Kovacs right now. He wants to shoot people. Shoot people. There we go. Chain goes down. One more to do, and he's stuck. And he kills himself. Yeah, because of, of course he would. <laughs> it's not some place you want to die. Not here, not like this. But Dramas catches Yenem off of the spawn and takes it. Nicely done by the Classics. That is going to be them moving forward. Good shit. Nice, well played. Poof. Dramas doing some real work today. Whew. And this is the last map. Uh, it's the first one that didn't uh, finish with one frag difference. Yeah. Yeah, we've had a, a lot more of those than we've we've had, uh, you know, proper shutouts lately. So some good competition today. That trend will continue as we get into our uh, our other UB final. Um, I might see if we can get these guys into comms. That would be cool. Um, ba -ba 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 uh -huh. um, who's playing with Festive Saigib?
Like, we, we really should have had comms out of the gate with all the Russians that we had. Uh, but uh, I think we're going to figure out that match here. We're going to have to finally leave this party, but uh, it will continue as we have more Tasty Cups 2v2. We're going to take a, a quick five-minute break while we get this match rolling, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side.